Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, I wanted to make a quick video that I'll put on my private YouTube because when I went to search for how to inject methotrexate, nothing came up. And I, I think this might be the same for many other things. This is a subcutaneous injection. Uh, and you know, the, your nurses will train you or somebody, I don't know how it will work for you. I have visiting nurses because they get hydration therapy, but uh, they will train you how to do this. But the thing is, I wanted to be put more at ease about this, and I wanted to, uh, I wanted to see somebody else do it to give me a little refresher, make me feel more comfortable when I was by myself before I did it. You know, you know how that kind of thing is. So, so you're not as alone in doing it. And there was nothing available on YouTube when I searched for it. So I thought I'd make the video to maybe help out somebody else who has Crohn's rheumatoid arthritis or Crohn's with rheumatoid arthritis. Or, or, or maybe another disease that uses methotrexate or something else that may be subcutaneous. So this is just a standard uh, diabetic needle. Nothing really all that special. I get four at a time in my prescription and it's uh, refillable three times. This is just a regular old alcohol wipe and this is, if it'll focus, that's probably about as good as we're going to get. This is the methotrexate. It comes with a uh, blue protective cap on the top. Uh, I took it off because you know, it's easier than dealing with it in the video. But you can't put the cap back on once it's off. It has like a slight adhesive on it. And it won't go back on. And you don't need it. And then you get several at a time. And each vial that I get anyway contains two milliliters, and I do a one milliliter dose. And there's always a little bit left on the bottom itself, actually. And I could save them and probably get another one milliliter dose uh, out of. And I asked my doctor, and she told me not to. So you don't need to refrigerate this, but I mean, obviously, you should keep it out of extreme weather conditions because it could break down uh, its chemical properties. So we'll go ahead and. Oh, and the other thing is you inject into a, a large area where you're not going to hit anything like a vein or obviously a bone or a ligament or something crazy like that. I was told the absolute best place to do it is your thighs. Uh, previously, when, when the injections were done for me, various nurses did it in various places. Uh, I saw some of them wanted to do it in my stomach. Some wanted to do it in my uh, shoulder, which I was told was actually not a good idea. Uh, by several other nurses and it seems that the thigh is the best place especially for me and it's the best place and easiest place to do on your on yourself I do it on the on the uh, sides of my thighs not on the inside uh, because you get more muscle on the outside of your thigh than on the inside so makes it a lot better and it's not painful the painful thing it will be is if you go super slow when putting the needle in. The best way to do it is just to just put the needle straight in. So let me move the tripod. It'll be shaky for a second because I'm not going to edit the video. And I'll clean off uh, the area and I will do my injection. So let me move this real quick and we'll do that. Again, sorry about it being all shaky, guys. Let's see what we can do here tripod-wise. Ah, it sucks. I'm just gonna have to hold it <laughs> or or brace it. I again, I'm very, very, very sorry for the shakiness. But again, ah, crap. hold on. I really don't want to edit it. it. Takes so much time. I got so many other things to do. All right, there we go. So the first thing I'm gonna do is open this bad boy up. Get out the little alcohol swabby. And then I'm going to do an area right here. See, this is just the regular side of my thigh. And you alternate. I, I do an interjection every week. I'm not exactly sure how other people might do it, but I feel like this is probably the most common. And then the other thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna let I'm gonna let it dry right in here. And then I'm going to clean the top off. Make sure 
you know you don't get anything inside yourself <laughs> and then I'm gonna let that dry and give it a shake just to make sure and then I'm going to take the needle pull the orange cap off you don't need the orange cap anymore because this part here is the uh, the safety after you inject and I'll show you that too so pull that off there you go there's the needle and then see if I can line this up and then you're going to just jam it on in there now here's where it gets tricky okay oh boba that's my cat Boba, go sit down okay here's where it gets tricky um, as you're pulling on the little whatever you call it the stopper thing here it's going to create a vacuum inside of here and this part of the needle is going to want to keep just going back up instead of letting you actually draw it out the way the way I found to uh, correct this is just to wiggle the needle and it'll allow you'll see the air bubbles slowly pop out and come you know come back up through and eventually it'll stop shooting the methotrexate back into the bottle so let's go ahead and pull it out and I do one milliliter so it's the entire length of the needle down to uh, if you can see it 100 here to this line at 100 the black line down there or you know right there so crap why is it leaking Okay, so we'll just draw it out. You can see, in the stopper, you need to go to here. Not See how this, it's not here, it's up here. So, pull it down. No, it's, it's actually uh, not having an issue today. Well, that's cool. And pull it out. And you see it just, clo it recloses itself, no issue. And I'll just chuck this back into my prescription bottle. It comes in like regular pills. And we find the area. I can always tell because my hair is swirled. <laughs> I, I, I don't know if you're a lady that shaves their legs or a guy that might shave their legs. I don't know how you'd handle it. But, and then we just go ahead and jam it on in. Ready? It only hurts for a brief second. No big deal at all. And then we push the plunger dealy down. All the way to the bottom, and I was told to count to 10. So 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 1,000, 5, 1,000, 6, 1,000, 7, 1,000, 8, 1,000, 9, 1,000, 10, 1,000. And you do that before you take it out. And to keep people safe, I push this up. Now the needle can't uh, do anything. And then from there, you I guess you could just throw it straight in the garbage, but I don't do that. I actually save it and I have a sharps container that I put it in, uh, which I don't have here because I do my, I meet the nurses elsewhere, but, uh, and it normally doesn't leak like this. It was just because I was holding it upside down too long in the bottle to show, which hopefully it didn't leak too much or I'll have an issue, but that's, that's it guys. It's really not that difficult. Um, it can seem overwhelming at first if you've never done it, but after you do it, it becomes a routine. No big deal whatsoever. It's, you know, like anything else in life. So don't be scared. Don't be worried. Uh, and again, it, it doesn't hurt. And methotrexate will help you a lot. Help me a lot when nothing else would. Uh, it helps with my RA, not with the actual Crohn's pain and stuff I go through. But it's been a godsend. I can walk again. Uh you know, properly. I, I was, I had a really difficult time going upstairs and walking. I could barely use my hands previously. It's not perfect. I still have problems, but I certainly recommend it. So thank you guys very much for watching. Um, you know, I don't monetize these videos, so there'll be no commercials and I make nothing off of this. I'm just trying to help out other people in our community and other communities. So thank you guys very much and stay healthy. Good luck. Thank you.